Genwis, uh, for five minutes, please, sir. Mr. Anthony, you, you really had me at I didn't read the Auditor General's report. Now, this report was tabled more than a month ago. Your company has faced grievous consequences, which you have described because of this report. You've been required to testify in large part because of the findings in this report. And this report is feeding into an RCMP investigation that could result in criminal charges against your long-term business partner and against you. Uh, Mr. Anthony, this report is merely 36 pages. And at no point did you think, maybe I should read this thing. Uh, no, I did not. Uh, Mr. Anthony, why are you lying to this committee? I, I'm not lying to this committee. I swore an oath. You, you did, sir. Um, what, what do you think you have to gain by claiming that you didn't read the Auditor General's report? I have nothing to gain. What, what, why are you making this claim when it's clearly not true? It is true. Sir, how many how much time did you spend preparing for this hearing today? Not a whole lot. Uh, roughly though. How how much time did you spend preparing for this hearing? A couple of hours. A couple hours. Okay. And you didn't think as part of that preparation you should read the Auditor General's report. It was against my doctor's wishes for me to be working. I have not been working since the start of December. As I, we sent our doctor's notes, he's advised Sorry. us not to work. Your, your, your doctor advised you not to read the Auditor General's report? No, he said he'd advised me not to work to lower my stress. Okay, sir. In, in, in the couple hours you spent preparing... Uh, you didn't read the Auditor General's report, and you came here and you told us you disputed its findings based on what Christian Firth had told you. Yes. Um, Mr. Anthony, I, I don't believe you, first of all, uh, but secondly, I have a hard time making sense of your motivations. Uh, Mr. Firth is under a serious cloud of suspicion, uh, suspicion involving events that you claim you don't have any knowledge about. Um, with that in mind, are you committed to standing by Mr. Firth and believing everything he tells you, regardless of what this investigation reveals? I've known Christian Perth since 2007. We've been a business partner since 2015. He's an honest, trustworthy, hardworking man and a parent. I have no doubt that he's done nothing wrong. I'm confident all independent investigation will establish that. Were, were you reading what you just said, sir, or were you speaking from the heart? Speaking from the heart. Um, sir, I... Uh, um, I don't even know what to say. That this is so ridiculous, sir. Like, is it not obviously ridiculous to you? You you've come before this committee. You 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 you've been summoned here. You would have been ar arrested by the sergeant at arms if you hadn't shown up. And you're telling us you did two hours of prep. You didn't read the auditor general's report, and you're committed to standing by everything Mr. Firth tells you, even though you had allegedly no involvement in the events that could lead to criminal charges. Like this, is this what is happening? Uh, uh, Mr. Anthony, um, one, one other question in the, in the time I have left. Uh, what is your uh, relationship with David Yao? Do you know him? Uh, do you have conversations with him? I've never had a conversation with him. I don't know him. OK, uh, you are supposed to manage security processes for the company. Have you ever, in the course of your time working for Christian Firth, uh, provided any pushback or raised concerns about things he suggested in terms of, of contracts, contractors, processes, uh, or have you or have you not? I have not. So you you affirm, uh, approve, rubber stamp uh, the things that Mr. Firth uh, provides you. 
I, I don't approve things that he I got I'm not sure where you what what the question this is, is this is that. this is a, a strange partnership uh yeah that is